Typically, the human palate is supposed to be anywhere from 40 to 46 millimeters, but that does not mean that you have a small palate if yours is maybe 38. The thing we really need to accomplish is we need a palate that's large enough for many different reasons. Number one, we really need enough room for our tongue to kind of fit in there so it's not like squished width-wise or depth-wise. So if somebody has a really large tongue and a relatively like small palate, they could have a 44 millimeter palate and have a 48 inch wide tongue and send maybe like a linebacker on a football team, that's still gonna be a small palate. The other issue is we need to have enough space so that the upper teeth can kind of come together with the lower teeth and we can form a good bite. If you look at somebody's lower jaw and they have a really large lower jaw and they have a relatively small upper jaw, then that means once again, there's not enough room across the palate because we need more room for the teeth to fit so the bite can be comfortable and proper. Finally, the thing we really need to focus on, we need to focus on tongue function, breathing, and airway. It's really important to check in with our myofunctional therapists. They'll take a look and see if there's enough room for tongue function, see if there's enough width and enough depth so that they can coordinate a proper swallow such that we can keep our tongue up on our palate with a little bit of suction, and that's the way we're gonna breathe better and sleep better.